Hey guys, welcome to vlog number five, and I got myself a haircut today. Well, I actually gave it to myself. I went and bought a head shaver. I usually shave my head because uh, male pattern baldness here, and I just like to keep it looking okay. Finally, I got room service today. Uh, I didn't have room service for a while, and my room was starting to get filled up with garbage and you know wet, wet towels and things like that. But uh, anyways, because I was sick, I told them not to do it. I didn't want them coming in here and getting sick. So we got all new bedding. So that's really awesome. So anyways, me and another one of the guys that are here are gonna go play some pool. So uh, yeah, let's go do that. So it's been a few days since I uh, went and played pool and I've been training all of week uh, So this is actually days after that last segment. Anyway, so I'll give you an update on that um, Basically uh, the first day we went out and did some local deliveries Which was really cool because I got a lot of practice unhooking trailers hooking them up Also a lot of practice doing the paperwork that's involved in that the routine that's involved in that uh, I seem to pick it up fairly quick. There's still a couple of things obviously I still need to work on um, aside from that, uh, the second day we did a lot more backing up. So like you're in a, in a, in a trailer yard with a whole bunch of trailers and you have to like back it up into the, the hole and it's sounds easy, but it's not, trust me, it gets easier. But, uh, for now, uh, I still need a bit of practice, but I'm getting better for sure. Uh, I'm usually getting in there, but I, I do need to adjust myself. I don't ever get it one shot, but apparently the pros don't ever get it one shot for the most part either. Um, anyways, and then today uh, I did something that I was looking forward to, which is called a regional run. And what that means is that I went and picked up a load in a different place. So it was, I don't know, it took a couple hours to get there. It's outside of Winnipeg. Uh, I think it's in a place called uh, Portage La Prairie. And so I went and picked up a shipment out there. I uh, did practice my paperwork, practiced uh, my log books and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, and all the routine that came with that. It was a frozen load, which means that the trailer uh, has air conditioning. It's sort of, well, it's not air conditioning. It's just temperature control system, basically. It's called a reefer trailer. And, uh, and you just set the temperature what you need in there. So it stays frozen, even though outside today it's like minus 15. So it's gonna stay frozen anyways, but maybe it can't go that frozen. You know, it's gotta stay at like, I think it was minus 10 that it had to be at, but anyways. Um, so I got to do that and it was like 40 something thousand pounds. The truck was fully loaded and I got to really feel the weight of the truck behind me that I'm pulling. Um, when you're hauling that much more weight too, you have to take into consideration you're going to take a lot more time to stop. So you have to keep your distance between you and the vehicle in front of you a lot more. You have to scan the road in front of you further. Um, you have to start braking sooner, uh, all, all sorts of stuff comes into play when you have different weights on your truck as well. So I got to learn a lot of that and then I got to uh, bring that back here and learn the process of dropping that in the yard as well as doing a proper uh, pre-trip inspection of your vehicle and post-trip inspection. So we go over the entire vehicle and the trailer and all that kind of stuff, make sure nothing's damaged. Then we go out, do our run, and then we come back and we, again, make sure nothing's damaged on everything. So, so it's good for the next person who uses it. Um, and then in between that, like in between today and tomorrow, somebody else might pick up that trailer, but something may have happened to it. 
Maybe somebody took the trailer out beside that one, backed a new one in and scraped the edge of it. So between now and tomorrow morning, something might happen to that trailer, which is why even though yesterday somebody did a post trip on that trailer, this morning I have to do a pre-trip to make sure nothing's happened between then. And then I write it in my log and, uh, and I keep a record. That way, if there's, uh, say, um, you know, some damage, I can say damage on the trailer this morning. Then they'll look at yesterday's pre-trip or post-trip log, say there was no damage. Well, then it has to have been somebody in the yard who didn't report the damage, right? So it's all about liability and things like that, making yourself, um, you know, there's so many different things that can go wrong on a, on a tractor trailer system. So uh, I got a lot of experience in that and I'm going to go out and do the same thing tomorrow as well. So um, yeah, I don't, I can't, again, I can't really record anything until I'm doing runs on my own, which will be quite a few weeks yet. So again, I'm going to keep these logs, you know, two, you know, probably two times a week. I dedicate myself to that. So I'll do that. And I'll just kind of keep you guys updated and try to do some entertainment stuff as well. But for the majority, I'm going to be talking to you guys. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on my next video.